Hey everybody, um, I'm going to show you how to build a, your own star tetrahedron. Uh, it's one of the most important shapes in the universe. Uh, if you look up uh, Drumbolo Melchizedek on the secret flower, or the ancient secret of the flower of life. What's that? Um, uh, he talks about the Merkaba. That this is going to be that shape. It's a field that's all around everything in the universe, pretty much. And uh, it's also the strongest structure in the universe. It's made out of purely triangles. And uh, to start, you need 12 sticks equally long. That's it. And something to, to attach them together. I'm using electrical tape. So you start with making like a vertices, vertices like this. So And this shape is, uh, Buckminster Fuller said, Buckminster Fuller, if you don't know, is one of the greatest thinkers of our time. Uh, he died in 1983, but he was the man. And he took Einstein's discoveries. He took, basically, if you look on the four, the founding fathers of science and modern thought, it goes like Newton and all the dudes before Newton. And then Einstein, and then uh, Buckminster Fuller took all that, ate it, digested it. It has like the best working models to go by. There's a book, one of the most import important books to mankind. Only about a million people on earth really understand this book. I'm not going to say that I'm one of them, but I will say that I wish I was. Um, I wish that I had the what was needed to understand this book. It's called Cosmography. It's by Buckminster Fuller. He, and this is the greatest thinker of our time, he's solved countless problems for mankind. And he used simple logic mathematics stuff like that so so this is going to go like that okay and again this is this is the geometry that makes 1 plus 1 equal 4 it's mind blowing but it's true do that by using synergy. So I'll show you what that means, that 1 plus 1 equals 4 thing. And uh, now Buckminster Fuller said that we live in the dark ages. Still, we think that we're all advanced, but we're still using square architecture. We're still using boxes. And boxes are just not architecturally sound. As far as, uh, see, I wish I was a better teacher about this stuff. You can find a good teacher. Look on the streets for a guy named Roland Herb Smith. He wears flowers in his head. Now, this is what you want. Is a, it's, a, it's called a tetrahedron. This is the first step in a star tetrahedron. Um, now, this is a, notice how it's made of pure triangles. You had a six sticks, and it's naturally very structurally sound by itself, as simple as it gets, too. As far as now, I'll show you that's the first step is get one of these going. Okay, before you attach it, before you finish the second one, you want to put it in to the other way. So we're basically doing the inversion. We're putting the inversion inside, and you can see the shape that's about to unfold here.
This is important knowledge for everyone, um, as mankind. I, I don't claim to be the originator of this, but um, um, I've learned it from a mentor of mine, um, Roland. God bless him wherever he is. Okay, so you got the two tetrahedrons inside each other, right? So you basically just attach them to themselves, like so. This is fun for the mind, too. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the shape once you build it, and I may as well go into it. This is how it starts. This is the beginning. So you connect to them at the middles, so that it's looks like a 3D Star of David kind of. And again, this is the strongest structure in the universe. I mean, for just a simple. Oops. simple, uh, I guess, what would you call that, structural mathematics. It's made of pure triangles. Triangles, if you ever look at a bridge, you'll see a lot of triangles. Or if you look at structure that's made to support a lot of weight, you'll see a lot of triangles, because triangles have a way of distributing the weight squares just collapse unless there's triangles all into it something my father taught me he's an engineer he uh, taught me to go with triangles whenever you're building stuff if, it's, if you want it to be structural structurally sound so I didn't uh, Imagine I'd ever be building this stuff. I was just like, yeah, yeah. But now it's like, oh, I get what you're saying. Because I'm like trying to design whole cities and stuff, and I want my cities to be totally Jane. And if we were to make this out of structural grade bamboo, we would use. Um, bicycle tires as the instead of uh, electrical tape. I mean, this is the star tetrahedron. It's the now it's it's also known as the Merkaba by Drumvala Melchizedek who wrote uh, the ancient secret of the flower of life. Supposedly this is the most basic structure in the universe. Let me make sure that it's all centered there. Oops. And this shape is earthquake proof, hurricane proof, I mean like if you did it right it would be completely everything proof that's to start it up. This is a star tetrahedron and uh, supposedly we have this this is the shape of the resonant field around our bodies for males it's facing this direction I believe and in females it's facing this direction Notice also how it looks like the Star of David, but in 3D. This is some real uh, universal stuff here. So, and then if you really want to go into it, you can uh, subdivide go into it like with more sticks so there you have it it's a star tetrahedron made out of 12 equally sized sticks or poles or bamboos but don't get bamboozled
fundamental shape in the whole universe. Are you still Yeah, I'm going to continue with, uh, so yeah, it's like, uh, this is, we have a resonant field around us, and it's shaped like this. And also, if you look at the first, um, when a baby is first developing, of any species, the first cells that, so you get the one cell, and then it replicates, it replicates again, it replicates again. The first shape that it makes is this shape. Wow. And then, yeah, this is the, this is the foundation of all of existence. So this shape and it's also known as the secret flower of life but this is the foundational building block of all life right here it's the flower of life so sometimes you'll see it in the form of those circles into each other you know have you ever seen what I'm talking about yeah. it's called sacred geometry it's like the geometry that the universe uses Oops. You know what Buckminster Fuller is? Yes, some quotes that he's done. He has passed away, right? Yeah, he died right before I was born. Yeah. I was him in a past life. And I'm here to continue on my work. Seriously. Okay, but let's get to work. They called him Bucky. Oh, really? Bucky Fuller, yeah. Well, tell me about what did Buck Mr. What, what did he do? What did he say? Well, he doing he decided to write a book that just summed it all up everything that he all of his life's work and uh, he left a letter on his desk on top of the transcript that said it was addressed to his grandchildren because it said grandchildren in case I might die suddenly this book is the jewel of the Nile of all my work kind of thing and he did die suddenly and they published the book but hardly anybody knows about it he didn't get a chance to really talk about his book but this book is called cosmography it's the jewel of scientific thought in a lot of ways it's a very important book and it has viable solutions for modern man and, and the problems that we're facing so and one of the things that he's famous for is saying one plus one equals four or this is a star tetrahedron with uh, the reinforcements in the center so this thing is like boom this thing uh, like ground store like ground store oh, okay so here it is with the reinforcements, just to hold it up, kind of, and then uh, those will be connected to, so it'll be like this tricky looking thing. But uh, this is what I want to build. Uh, it's like, uh, just imagine what it does to your brain, just look at it. It's like, but uh, if anybody wants to invest, uh, couple thousand bucks in the materials. I'd like to build one of these and then I would like to do the super top secret thing I'll make another video about. Um, and that video is going to be about getting water from air. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, and I hope to see you build your own Star Tetris.